Did you know that there are several brand new condo developments going up in Wellesley and one that's just completed? If you're considering buying a condo in the Boston suburbs, then this is a great place to start. This is part one of my series on condos in Metro West. Welcome to my channel, Living in the Boston Burbs with Jane. If you're thinking about moving to Boston and don't know where to start, start by reaching out to me. Years ago, I lived in the Detroit suburb of Southfield, and I was amazed at how many high-rise and mid-rise apartment and condo complexes there were. We just didn't have anything like that when I was growing up outside of Boston in Lexington. But now we're, we've seen a couple large developments go in town and I'm really excited to share them with you. Lots of people don't want a single family. Lots of people would prefer a new construction home and not have to worry about the yard and the exterior of the building and whether they have to replace their windows. So sometimes a condo is a great alternative. So today I'm gonna to share with you some information about some developments that have gone up recently and some of the ones that have been around a long time. I'm gonna show you things in a wide range of prices and also a wide range of condition. So this is part one of condos in Greater Boston. So let's dive in. The first development I'm gonna share with you is called Fieldstone Way. It is a townhome community built by Northland Residential, a well-respected builder in Greater Boston. And I'm very proud that my office had the exclusive listing of these units. And they are gorgeous. So they're, they ranged in price from a low of one bedroom for $6.95. The first phase of townhomes were at around one, 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 two. And then as they went phase by phase, they got, they did three phases and the final phase got as high as 2.4 million for of course a much larger unit. So I'll show you what you could get for $6.95. Originally the thought was that these units would be bought by students, grad students internationally attending Babson Unit College or grad school. And then when the pandemic hit, right when they were building, that definitely impacted the demand for the one bedrooms. They were still gorgeous. They had a very attractive outside and this is their side entrance and they included a one car garage. And then their part of their living space was over someone else's garage. So I think that impacted the values too. But as you can see, they have a balcony here and they have another balcony off the bedroom. So you walk up the stairs into this open floor plan, beautifully done, nice vaulted ceilings, very tasteful decor, the dark kitchen cabinets with the contrasting quartzite countertops, really sleek. And as you can see, you've got some great natural light. So then as you go over here, you go into the bedroom, which as you can see is a balcony with just a little bit of snow when they shot this picture. And this door gives you access to an eave in the wall. And they did something clever. Every square inch was finished. So even if you open this little door, the hardwood flooring continued into that space for storage. So a couple of them sold in $6.95 to $7.50. The first phase of Fieldstone Way was along a pretty busy road, well-traveled road. And I'm gonna show you the unit that sold for $1125. So the process was that people made reservations and then they got to choose some finishes. So they were basically buying a hole in the ground, which again has been pretty unusual for our market to have so much new construction. So this was a two bedroom, two, in a, two full and two half baths with a detached two car garage. So this first phase, the garages were actually just a short walk up across the yard, but still not attached. Again, really pretty finishes. And this is typical of what the kitchens look like. One of the fun things about being the exclusive listing agent office is that we helped select the names of the styles. So the Honeywell was a prominent family in Wellesley that were founders of the town. So there's a Honeywell school and there's a Honeywell street. So one of the styles we named after the Honeywells. So as you can see, this is Great Plain Avenue, which was the more traveled road. And here's the entrance to the complex. This was phase one, and then this was phase two. And then the final phase was more money because as you can see, you are backing up to conservation land and have closer access to this open field, which is communal land. So you couldn't actually build anything there. And here it is when it was under construction. Ha, huh, seems like it was just yesterday, but it's all done. 
The last one is closing this very month, January of 2023. I did sell one of the ones in the back row, which had one of the best views of that conservation land. There were two different styles. So some of them had a garage under, but there was an option to put an elevator in. And some had the garage on, like in this picture, on the main level. So they were built into a hill. So as you can see, there was a walkout porch, and then there's also a porch, a covered porch off the family room, which most people added screening. So the profile of buyer for that was primarily families, young empty nesters looking to downsize. And I had one client that actually sold a house and almost recreated what they had in a smaller footprint at Fieldstone Way. It had all of the office for a basement office and workout space that was nicely finished, a main floor bedroom, and then a second floor for when the kids came home. The development is about a mile from downtown, so you can easily walk downtown or bike. And as I mentioned, it backs up to those conservation trails, which is really terrific. There's another new development called Terrazza, which is really an in-town location. It's on Linden Street. So Linden Street has one of our commuter rail stations, major grocery store, Roach Brothers, and a whole lot of shopping on this beautiful plaza, gyms. So this is real in-town living. And it's built into a hill, so they called it Terrazza. It's been selling fast, and the price range has been just under a million dollars for about 900 square feet up to as high as close to $3 million for a two and three bedroom. So this is the outside of the building. And as you can see, it's a pretty contemporary feel. It has some really cool features that make it really high-end finishes, which I'm excited to share with you. So this rendering is showing the rear. So this is the communal space. And again, I believe there's about 25 units there. So there's going to be big open fireplace and some seating and some grass, place to walk your dog. And then some people have a private little yard and some people don't. This, it's a very contemporary finish, which is super cool. And there's actually a model home on Linden Street. So if you want to go see it, give me a call and I can help you schedule that. And every unit has a fireplace, which is awesome. On the higher floors, it's really nice. You're going to have a lot of natural light on this corner. On the first floor, you're still going to be above Linden Street because their garage is under, but it's definitely an in-town living experience. And again, the finishes are quite contemporary. There's going to be a concierge. It's gonna be finished sometime in 2023. And here's some of the common space. The really fun thing is, oh yes, there is a gym and a golf simulator. But what I thought was super cool, they have this parking garage system that's automated. So you can call for your car and this hydraulic lift will spin around and scoot your car out for you. I thought that was super cool. So again, that ranges from a basically a studio plus to two or three bedrooms. The third new development in Wellesley is called the Bristol. It's on Weston Road. So it's a little bit out of town compared to Terrazza, but still very close to Linden Street and it's also backs up to conservation land. One of the things I love most about our town is that we have so much green space and walking trails, and there's a really nice pond called Morse's Pond. So the Bristol, I actually was hoping they were gonna have a view of Morse's Pond from the roof, but apparently they're not quite that close, but it's a really nice area. Now keep in mind, the commuter rail does pass by not too far away. So you're gonna hear some noise from the train. You're still gonna hear traffic. You're still in town. I think you're moving here because you want that lifestyle. So again, a contemporary feel, they called it a country decor. Again, the prices are about the same as the Terrazza. There was a unit for under 900,000 that was a first floor unit that was basically a studio plus some nice living space and it was on the ground floor over here. And then some of the units are quite large with staircases with access to private roof decks. So that was super cool. And again, very contemporary finishes, which is new for Wellesley. And also have fireplaces in, I think, every unit. So this is an example of a two bed, two bath that's just under 1600 square feet, and it's on the market for 2215. You are also able to select your finishes at the Bristol and you can go to their model and look at some of their samples. The last time I drove by, they're 
the frame was up, but it's not something you can quite tour your unit yet. But nice open concept, really pretty options. I like the white kitchen actually. I'm a sucker for the white kitchen. And I love the oversized windows and the floating mounted cabinets, the nice soaking tub, and there it is, the white and the white. And then here's an example of a roof deck. I did have a buyer strongly consider one of these units and it did have a staircase up to the private roof deck. And it's, it was, we were really impressed with it, but I'll show you what they ended up buying overall. I'll show you which development they ended up in. So that was the Bristol. So now we're gonna go back to one of Wellesley's long established, late 60s, early 70s, mid-century modern brick monolith in the center of town. Now we're moving to a different price point. We are going to Wellesley Green. So Wellesley Green is right in the center of town. This is an example of what it looks like outside. So as you can see, it was typical of the era around 1970. There are 149 units in this complex. And one of the reasons this development has held its value so well for so long is that it is in their bylaws that you can only rent out your unit for one year during the entire tenure of your ownership. So basically it's 100% owner occupied and condos tend to lose their value if they become too much of a rental property. Sometimes that's tough when you don't want to sell and you may not want to be there all the time, but they're also all electric. They have electric heat, but it's a pretty efficient building. The one thing when you're looking at condos, you always want to look at the condo fee. So because this is an older building, they have a very healthy reserve, but they have rules like you have to buy a new water heater every seven years because they don't want it to you to wait until 10 or 12 and have it leak into your neighbors. They're very well maintained. They have replaced all of the exterior railings. They've replaced windows. So nicely maintained. So this is an example of an old kitchen. So they updated the floor, but these are cabinets from the 80s. So I guess maybe it was updated once. A lot of them have mirrors on the walls and the parquet floor is a trademark of Wellesley Green. Many of these units have sold and been updated. My husband's a contractor and he's actually working on his fourth renovation there right now. So when I started in this business in 2005, I remember these units would sell for about 450. The ones that aren't even updated are selling closer to eight or 900,000. So this unit I think is actually a good buy. I think it's suffering because it needs some updating and I think they started a little high on the price and it's sat and even though available inventories in our town are low, it's tough over the holidays. So I had a couple people considering this unit. I have a couple different families that I'm working with that are getting in that first phase of thinking about downsizing and leaving their house in Wellesley and moving into a condo and this is the best value but it's just such a different lifestyle they have to think about it for a while i've actually have three couples that are looking two of them are getting there slowly and the third just got busy at work and they're like we can't think about this till january so here it sits ready to be snapped up by some lucky buyer and a lot of the original rooms have wallpaper oh so you have either a balcony or there's also little gardens which have brick walls to give you some nice privacy. So that's the one that's on for $889, that's two bedrooms and two baths. So there is a common garage, so it's very civilized. There's a guard when you drive in that's gonna check your credentials. So it's right near the library, it's right near the brook path. So great for walking, great for popping over to Starbucks or to go do your shopping in the center of town and there is a big garage with an elevator and you can drive in and you can just never worry about shoveling off your car again. So here in Massachusetts, there's some value to that. So, and there's three buildings. So they're named after different presidents. This building actually is Adams and then there's the Coolidge building and then there's the Lincoln building. There's also a gorgeous outdoor pool. This is an updated lobby and this is a up more updated unit. The ones my husband has done, if you want to see a really updated one, shoot me a line and I'll send you some pictures. But this is in between, like it's newer floor, which is engineered hardwood. But these cabinets are not super high end and neither is the countertop. Most people who are buying them are doing, bringing it up to current standards with appliances, granite countertops or quartz and some white cabinets. This has nice hardwood floors that replaced the parquet. You can see the deck, the balcony is brick. But the space is great and 
Orientation is very important when you're looking at these buildings because some of them are overlooking Grove Street and some are overlooking the Brook Path, which is just nice green space. Some of them are getting a lot of sun and some of them are angled so they don't get so much sun. So when you're buying a condo, it's important to think about those things because you don't have your own private yard, for example. Here's an original bathroom. It has those Hollywood style lights. Here's a picture of the pool. So as you can see, some of those units overlook the pool. So some people like looking at the pool, some people don't. I have to say the pool is not generally very busy. I've never seen anybody swim in there but I know they have a, a cocktail party and in the summer, I know that people have their grandchildren to visit. As you can imagine, with Terrazza and Bristol selling a one bedroom or a studio apartment for 900,000, all of a sudden Wellesley Green started to look like a terrific value. So for the same amount, you can get two bedrooms and two baths with a parking garage with a two, one or two designated spaces in a great location in town. So the final development that I'm gonna show you is Belle Claire. And that is very close to Wellesley Green in the center. This was the land, so it got it was old and tired and it got torn down and replaced with this beautiful high-end development. Two different buildings with absolutely gorgeous finishes. So this is about 10, 12 years old, and it was the first of its kind in Wellesley where people were making reservations and just aghast that they were buying a two or three bedroom apartment for the same price as 7,000 square foot home. However, again, it was for those people selling very large high-end homes that wanted a toehold in Wellesley. Maybe they have a home in Florida or Nantucket or somewhere other place and they just want to have a place to come back to. So Belle Claire is the perfect place to meet their needs. In fact, there are quite a few people who spend the winter in Florida, so it's pretty quiet around here in the winter time with extra parking spaces. So similar to Wellesley Green, it has a common garage under and it has a really nice patio area in the back. Now there have a couple off-market sales. So I don't have pictures of the few that have sold in the last couple of years. So this is actually going back a couple of years. Here's a different rendering of the exterior. And then there's a high-end retail space on the first floor. Really elegant entrance. There's a concierge. Now this is not as contemporary as you see in that newer look at Terrazza or Bristol. This is more classic colonial finishes. Snazzy floor, beautiful tile floor. And you can see that you can walk straight through the lobby out to the common yard, really pretty. So here's an example of a unit that's unfurnished. And this was the first time we were seeing those really dark hardwood floors go in. But still really elegant finishes, nice trim and moldings and built-ins. Really beautiful white marble master bath. They have a nice shower, beautiful walk-in closet. Oh, here's a nice view. So if you're, this is facing out to the busier side of town. So this is now a really terrific Italian restaurant. And Smith and Walensky is right here where I just went for New Year's Eve and had a tomahawk steak. But as you can see, you get a nice view of the village church and here are the grounds behind. It's also very close to a really popular ice cream place. So really nice lifestyle. You can walk to a couple fabulous restaurants. You can walk to Starbucks. You can walk to my office at Douglas Elliman. Pinnacle is moving over to Douglas Elliman. That's breaking news. So a real in-town lifestyle. They're very well insulated and quiet and luxurious is how it feels when you're walking around. And really nice people live there, super friendly. And they do have an outdoor kitchen available for communal use, but again, doesn't get a lot of action. So now there's a couple other smaller developments, but I wanted to just give you a snapshot of what's new and exciting and some of the tried and true. I'm gonna show you the Kingsbury. This one is actually on the market right now. Now, it was popular about, let's see, 30, 40 years ago to take some of these smaller elementary schools and turn them into condo living. This is an example of a beautiful older building. It's known as the Kingsbury. As you can see, it's surrounded by a nice green space and beautiful neighborhoods. It's also, this is Seaver and the high school is over on this side of Seaver. So it's still a convenient, reasonable, it's close to town. This is a bird's eye view of the unit. And one of the things with renovating old schools is most of these units 
have twists and turns and stairs. So it's not the perfect match for people who want to age in place, for example. Some of them just have too many stairs. But nice soaring ceilings, high end, nicely done, nicely finished. This one's beautiful and light filled with so many windows. There's a fireplace there and a really nice kitchen. Plenty of storage because that's one of the hardest things about moving from a house to a condo is losing your storage. So most condo developers are now doing their best to eke out as much storage as they can. So it's on the market for $9.75. It's a two bedroom, two and a half bath unit. It is just under 2,000 square feet. So it's bigger than some houses in Wellesley, bigger than my first house in Wellesley and maybe even my second. But again, always remember to keep an eye on those condo fees, see what it includes and make sure there's a healthy reserve because that's important in condo style living. So there you have it. We've spilled the tea on some of the best new developments in Wellesley. I've shown you a couple of the tried and true. So that was part one. So stay tuned, tune into part two. We're going to explore some of my favorite developments in Natick. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe as I put out a video each week sharing the information about buying real estate in the Boston Wellesley area, helpful tips, best deals under a million dollars, you name it, I'll share it with you. Thanks for watching.